On many Dallas mornings, a ray of hope comes by bus. Hold your breath, please. Mobile mammograms, free of charge to low-income women like Tammy Garrett. Without this bus, I wouldn't be able to get it at all. Right in here, Ms. F. 4,500 women okay. received mammograms through this program last year. 20 of them had breast cancer. But there's another story of how this bus and its mobile mammograms got into neighborhoods like this one. A bus powered by a mother's legacy and a son's commitment. That son is Brady James, a linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys. This room right here had nothing in it. He started Foundation 56, a breast cancer outreach gotcha. program. So His mother, Etta James, died of the disease in 2001. There was nothing like this for her. Nothing, nothing like this. And if there had been, she would still be here. In 2000, Brady James was a college standout at LSU. But at home, his father, Brady James Sr., had kidney disease, while his mother fought breast cancer. They had little money, so Etta James passed up cancer treatment to give her husband a chance at kidney treatment and life. And she chose to put herself on the back burner so everybody else can live. And I guess that's the way she felt like she could live. She could live vicariously through, through everybody else. His parents died within three months of each other. We celebrate today life. His Foundation 56 now honors her memory, including motivational visits with support groups like this yoga class and cooking seminar. Without this foundation, where would you be? Dead. In 2008, Cecilia Stevens walked onto a Foundation 56 bus with stage 3 breast cancer. After treatment, she's now cancer free. Stevens always wanted to meet James to thank him. How you doing? Good to see you. How you doing? Thank you. You're welcome. With every woman he helps, one in particular comes to mind. It's all about her legacy and uh, really a son's love for his mom. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Dallas.